well, here we are. Strange times. It's the first time to see myself in this kind of gear. Let's go to Chesterton World Adventures for the first time for 2020 and see what it's going to be like today. So weird to be somewhere where I don't normally get into the entrance. I have to go in by Jack and Shuey. So at the moment, it's so hard to breathe with my glasses on. I should take it off, really. Um, it's so it's just so weird at the moment. It's just so weird. So the main entrance I normally get to the nearest train station entrance, it's been blocked off at the moment because I'm still doing things around there at the moment. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. Two hours travelling by train using face masks was not easy. Let's have a look what there is. I've got to go to gift shop first of all to get my pin badges. And I just went all the way to Chesterton today, not just to see the scene, but the Bubble Works pin badge. Two hour journey to get four of these. I'm really happy. And I'm going to show you what wild wood looks like behind me. So I'm going to show you the view of it. So I'm now buying a new ride for this year. Well, it's not a new ride, it's from Sea Live Weymouth. So I'm going to have some lunch here, set down here, and I will continue the journey a little bit. Now, for the very first time, I've not been this part of Chessington. Why have I not been here? Looks lovely, Benny. Savari riding to South Africa. That's got to be done at some point in a day like this. What am I missing at Chessington? Got to do it at some point. I've got to do it at some point. Now I know a way. Got to do it at some point. Oh. This is a brilliant day today. It's nice to be back. Not rides all the time. It's just because this place was originally known as Chesterton Zoo before it became a theme park industry with rides where it is today, sort of thing. But yeah, yeah, let's go and carry on then.
When you come to Chester at some point, there'll be plenty of these sanitizer when you need to clean your hands so often when you've been somewhere, after you've been on rides or when you before you go on rides. It's for safety reasons. But yeah, there's a load of these about at the moment. So if you see those, you know where you're to go. There's one here, there's plenty where you go. Just make sure before you're doing things, just make sure you wash your hands and just make sure it's 20 seconds basically and save each other's day and make each other better. Let's explore more. It's just absolutely peaceful at Chesterton at the moment. It's towards the end of the day now and many people have gone. But this is how it's like without rides operation, with atmosphere, with fully immersed feeling. So this place used to be being a land, in case you didn't know. Things change. And Chesterton, it, once again, is my second home, along with Ford Park's top because it's where I belong over the years. So let's go have a look and see what it looks like for the rest of the time being. When Chesterton first opened, it was originally known as a zoo and it still has zoo parks today and Chesterton World of Adventures. And it now has rides and unfortunately today I can't ride it. So I come in here in this dog day and the sunshine weather, which is beautiful really, that I can explore the zoo part to think about when Justin first opened as a zoo, rather than just be on rides all the time. Hope you enjoyed this video so far. Give it a like and be sure to subscribe and check out my other social media platforms. It's been a decent day so far. I can't get my words right then. I don't need to be like that. Next year, behind me, where Mrs. Revenge used to be, they will be bringing a new drop tower ride for kids' family edition. It's going to be so cool. I'm looking forward to ride it when it opens, hopefully next year. But um, okay. yeah, it's all a bit different at the moment. Just want to know if it actually is going to open next year, but it all depends. It's all got planning consent. Everything's ready to go to be building construction, which they're doing now. There's diggers doing it at the moment. And yeah, look what I just bought it. The new riverboat ride for Rainforest attraction for this year. Nice, it's river raft. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I haven't actually looked up properly since lockdown because this crisis has really got us. And nice theming for the entrance for Tomb Blaster. They've really revamped some parts of the area. And yeah, you're supposed to get very wet on this one apparently. 
very neat. Looking forward to riding it when it opens, hopefully. So I can't really cover this probably because I'm talking too much. Can you see him shaking his bum at you? Shake your bum back. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. Lift it. That's funny, isn't it? Maybe you'll face off the window. Oh yeah, come down. Oh, that's dirty. What's he doing? He's going to be He's going to be Oh, let's go. We go around to the next one. I also can't imagine that people Interesting enough, um, sea life is not open at Chesterton for the moment until further notice, but what are people queuing for? Man, anyway, um, sea life at Chesterton is not open until further notice, but we're going to enjoy the rest of the day at the park. Wow, I think I've done everything today. Shame that one of my favourite places, the reason why I've been at Chesterton all the time, vampires are not open. But, um, uh, yeah, just hope to be back at some point. Hopefully, all ready to go. We can actually go and ride a vampire and do rides soon. It's just it's what a weird year we've been through. So yes, today's been a good day, very pleasant, very controllable with people doing their social distancing and you've got signs to the floor like you might see on my videos today, there's so many of these. Just follow what it says, if it says keep to the left, keep to the right, just follow for what it is. I know it's going to be very hard when theme park industry runs a game of rides because people want to eager to go on the rides, all of their favourites, they've been waiting for a long time, but when it comes to it, you've got to play by the rules. It's difficult and it's been a long time, I know, even myself, and it's taken me a long time to get here today. And two hours on the train with face mask on is so not fun, especially in the heat like this today. But I've done all right, so um, just take it as it goes. I hope many of you will get to these theme parks where you want to go soon. And uh, yeah, I will be at full park at some point because that is manageable because I can manage that. And uh, yeah, Justin is my home, like full park. And yeah, just follow the guidance, just respect to where you go and just respect to each other when it comes to normal reality at theme parks again. <laughs> And that is it from Chester World Adventure today for the very first time to see the life of Sue without theme parks industry. It's very different. Be sure to like, subscribe, let me know what you think by commenting to below today and check out my other social media platforms as well because I will be doing more vlogs when everything's back to normal. Fingers crossed that it will be open for you by 4th of July. I won't be at the opening weekend knowing that it's going to be packed. But for now, stay safe protect each other and respect to the wars wherever you go. Thank you very much. See you soon.